What makes the rich get richer and the poor get poorer? The answer is always not far-fetched. The rich use principles that are requisites to acquiring wealth, which the poor do not. Simple. I strongly believe that there is nothing new under the sun, as the Bible says. Whatever needs to be achieved in this world has principles that should be followed if it must be achieved. All inventions are based on principles. An airplane flies based on principles fulfilled during its invention. A train works the way it does based on principles fulfilled in its creation. We become whatever we desire to be if we follow the principles guiding what we want to become. Just in the same way, you must graduate from College of Medicine before you can proceed to become a qualified doctor. You must adhere to the principles of wealth before it can come to you. So far, this year, no book has launched me into the principles of wealth generation more than T. Hav Eker's book, The Secret of a Millionaire Mind, has. It is not a perfect book on knowing the principles of wealth generation, but it does a good job of reiterating the importance of your mindset to wealth generation. In today's video, I will be sharing with you three valuable lessons I learned from reading T. Hav Eker's The Secret of a Millionaire Mind. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss future updates. 1. If you want to change the fruits, you will first have to change the roots. If you're going to change the visible, you must change the invisible. Tihav Ika was a hard worker who wanted to succeed ethically at all costs. Like all hard workers, he did all he could to succeed but kept failing to hit financial success. Eventually, he ended up broke and living in his parents' basement. All the while, he kept wondering why he worked so hard but never got rich. One day, his father's friend, a rich man, saw him and pitied him. The man told him, riches isn't about struggling. To become rich, you must understand the mindset of the rich. There's a way the rich think that keeps them rich and there's a way the poor think that keeps them poor. To be rich, you must think the way the rich think. In trying to change our lives for good, most of us focus so much on changing the outside while leaving the inside intact. In truth, with the old way, you cannot achieve the new height you are trying to attain. Every new level must require a new relevant mindset. Jesus Christ said, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That means your life is as a result of what your mind is full of. No man will ever rise above the state of his mind. This is why you can give a man with a poor mindset over a million dollars and he would still be poor in less than two years. But give a man with a rich mindset just a few dollars and he would multiply that money in no time. The first step to acquiring wealth isn't struggling to gather wealth but agreeing with your mindset to that of the rich. I tell you often that at some time in my life, I was associated with some group of people who believed money was evil. I believed this falsehood as well. And in less than two months, I went from rich to dead broke. For more than two years, nothing changed until I changed my mindset. If you want to change the result of your life, change your mindset and work so much on your mind until you start to think and reason the way the rich do. You cannot become on the outside what you have not become on the inside. 2. If you want to make a permanent change, stop focusing on the size of your problems and start focusing on the size of you. I know many people will talk so much about what they are going through, but they never talk about solutions. When I was dead broke and was continually trying to get up on my feet but couldn't, I used to have a friend who would come around to visit me and each time she left, I would be more depressed. The reason was she would tell the depressing stories of how she was struggling, how things weren't working, how much she was suffering and it seemed she felt comfortable in that suffering although she didn't like it. I learned to stare clear of folks like that. Talk so much about your problems and they become bigger. Talk about solutions and how big you are to solve them and the size of the problems with those. Situations, things, people take shape and size in your mind that you see. When you magnify a problem, you reduce your capacity to be able to face it. Thus, Whatever energy could have been devoted to fighting that problem until you have victory is wasted. A lot of successful speakers often talk about believing in yourself before you can succeed. This is because if you don't believe in yourself, even if you have the president's support, you will still die broke. See, a man who believes in himself but is poor now 
will soon grow out of that poverty if you hand them the relevant resources. Believe in yourself. Believe you can do it. Believe nothing is beyond you, but everything that comes your way is suited for you and you can face it. When you are so convinced about your capacity and importance, you will naturally attract wealth because you will know that you are capable of getting it and so will do all it takes ethically to get it. 3. The number one reason most people don't get what they want is that they don't know what they want. Ask thousands of poor people what they want and you'll be surprised by what they'll tell you. Our lives are suited to be focused, otherwise we will achieve nothing meaningful. For so many years in my own life, I wanted to have money, I wanted to succeed, so I worked on different ideas for almost every two weeks. This week, I would get a plan to start this business, I would immediately get to work launching that business, and two weeks later, I would discover an idea then give up on the old idea and try this new one. Too often, I always wanted to implement all the ideas at once. I didn't know what I wanted. When you don't know what you want, you will never set your priorities right. Everything goes. You do whatever comes your way and go in whatever direction you feel. An unfocused life would become a misdirected life. The strongest principles emphasize the Napoleon Hill's think and grow rich is desire. Only an intense fiery passion will lead you to the life of wealth you want. And that intense desire must be focused on a single specific goal, one that you would be so sure about even if you suddenly awoke from the bed. Edwin Baines was so convinced about what he wanted to become a business partner with Thomas Edison. He understood this is what he wanted and he didn't let anything shift him away from it. As soon as he identified what he wanted, he had also identified activities and actions that would help him achieve it. When you know what you want, the how of getting what you want will show up. A clear goal supported by an intense desire produces the kind of result you want. This is one of the reasons why poor people stay poor and rich people remain rich. Remember these three powerful lessons from t Hub Ecosys, The Secret of a Millionaire Mind, if you truly want to build a life of wealth. If you want to change the fruits, you will first have to change the roots. If you are going to change the visible, you must first change the invisible. If you want to make a permanent change, stop focusing on the size of your problems and start focusing on the size of you. The number one reason most people don't get what they want is that they don't know what they want. If this video inspires you, like the video. We love you.